What is going on guys? Today I'm finally going to show you guys how to sort or set up your TV material. So the main thing I'm going to show, because there's so many different ways you can do a television, is just the pixelation effect. So I'll go over a few other things, but mainly we're just going to be looking at the slight pixelation effect that we get. Because this is how a real monitor works. In real life, your monitor has, what, 100, uh, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels all across your monitor. And that actually is just filled with loads of these guys. So what these guys do, if we come over to here, is as you can see, when it's all red, you get rid of the um, green and blue. And then I have it so, because I've got it so um, large on the pixels, I have it so it fades between um, red or whatever. But yeah, that's how it works in real life. If we come over here, and we come over to something that isn't just RGB, you can see it merges two of the colors together, and we achieve a little yellow and a turquoise. All right, so we're gonna sort how to do that today. So first you'll need a texture that looks like this. If you don't want to make one of these yourself in Photoshop, it's not very hard. Just go block, 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 a little bit there, and boom, you've got a pixel. If you don't want to do it yourself, I will have a link in the description with a Dropbox to my one. All right, next, take your material, call it screen, yeah. All right, come into here, and I'll keep up a reference just so I can copy from my other one. Boom, boom. All right. The first thing you need to do is either get your block color or get your texture. So we're just going to use the block color, so free left click to achieve that. And we're going to go for pink, uh, more of a purple. And first thing you need to do is just multiply this. And this is so simple, you guys can be like, whoa, that's actually so simple. Put that in here, get your pixels in here, and plug that straight into there, yeah. And that, without being tiled yet, is pretty much how it works. So this color, consists so if we come into here you'll see consists of red blue and no green and if we start turning on this blue we'll start to see this blue start to fade which will achieve this color but obviously it's only one pixel width so what we're going to do we'll hold you left click you get a texture coordinate plug that in we'll go what i don't know five to our uh, too much two for six two for six so we can see them and it looks like that color from here, right? And as we get close, you'll see each pixel made up of the colors that this is actually made up of. So if we start changing this, which consists of our red at that value and blue at that value, so blue should be really bright, red should be quite dim. Close, you'll see that's exactly what we got. And as, you, as I said, as you come far away, it looks like it. So there's three ways you can achieve this. If you do want your screen to be like a real life one, uh, which will have a lot of pixels. In fact, I, this is square, so I would say like this value. So 90 to over 1080, but because it's square, we're just going to go um, value 2 and just go like this. And this will probably work fine if you're using it for a telly that you want that many pixels on. Because it looks fine from here. As you get close, very close, you'll see, you'll start to get this effect. Right? But if you do want to achieve something like this, uh, 1, 2, 8. So you do want to have these big pixels that you can see, but from here you're like, oh, uh, it's it's too close. Like I don't want to be able to see the pixels here. I want to start being able to see them here, even though they're like they're quite big. To achieve that, we just need a pixel depth. So you need to get two versions of your material: one version with this attached, and one version of just the block color. Right? So if we just set up a lap, I'm pretty sure it goes here first and then here. And that'd be two different values. And we basically want to fade depending on distance between those two different values, right? So first we need a pixel depth. Boom. Drag that in. We need a divide. I think that's D left click. Yep. Now we need a one constant. So one left click and the multiply. M left click. And the reason, first of all, the reason we divide it is because a pixel depth has huge values. Um, it starts off as a massive value. So we just need to divide that down to a value that we want, right? Now... Plug that into there, that into there. And what this is going to do is allow us to control our divide through uh, an instance. So we can change the range while in engine. So if we come here, go into the material instant, I have this one, look, range here. And we start changing to about here. So if I come down to that range, I can turn that lower. So the higher I have that, the lower it goes, or the lower I have that, the further the range will be. So it starts changing. Oh, no, no, vice versa, right? Yeah, vice versa, so you've got to be closer, you see that? And we can just manipulate between those two ranges if we want. We don't need to, but if we want. Let's come here. 
Um, so I usually have that at a value of four, and then I convert to a parameter. I have this timesing by 100. So now four is being times by 100. So when we have this at one, it's going to be 100 and two, three, four, four, all, all the way through the hundreds. All right, we're dividing that up. Now, the next thing we want to do, so if I preview this, you'll be able to see it going between two different colors. Exactly what we want, right? Yep. Now, what we want to do, in fact, I think what we kind of want is to subtract that a little bit. By maybe 0.1. That way it gets completely like black about this distance. So you'll get all the pixels show now, right? And it starts fading as you look away like that, which is a nice effect that we're going to want. Um, you can then contrast this if you want. And again, we can have a constant here if we want a, not, well, yeah, a constant and convert it to a parameter. And we can call this like, I don't know, um, close, fade, whatever you think you should call it. And well, what do we have it as? 1.5, uh, 0.15 like that. And now, another thing you might want, again, you don't need it, is a contrast. The reason we might want a contrast, and I think I have it like a 0.2 value, is so you can control how sharp it changes between the two values, right? So you see, because uh, I've got the subtractor with a contrast, you'll see it's getting like that very quick. So if that's what you want, that's fine. If I do want to reduce this just a tad, we can get a bit closer like that. And then the more you increase this, the sharper you'll change between. So if you want it to quickly jump into the pixelation version, boom. Or you can even go into the minus, I'm pretty sure anyway, and have it so it takes a long time to fade. That's such a long time, we're not going to get any value. <laughs> but yeah. So depending on what you want, I usually have it about that much. In fact, because I've got a subtract here now, I might have it about 1.15, 1 right? Now that is our mask. All we need to add to this now is a clamp because we don't want it to go between, we don't want it to go above one and we don't want it to go below zero. So to fix that, we'll plug that into there and plug that into our alpha. That is that pretty much done. As you can see, the pixels appear as we get far away, it will go to a block color. About here actually but again you can change that distance manually and i can contrast it a bit more depending on the when i'm in engine it's a bit easier to see but depending on what i kind of want right better and we get the range a little bit closer so if i turn this to two there you go that's more what i want now, again, you can put a picture in here. So if I did want to just use a picture of a cat, actually, let's let's not be biased. Let's get a picture of a dog quick. There you go. We'll pop down our desktop. I might have a monitor. There you go. Get him back up. Ooh. And we'll pop, where is he? Pop him into here. Cool. Actually, the problem with this, <clears throat> is he's um he's a rectangle and we can sort that out manually so that's a good point actually i can actually show you how to sort that out so we'll plug him into here yep. now on this um it's, we can't change it we can click that one select somebody yeah so you can see as you get closer you'll get all the actual parts light up what it's supposed to get what i mean there's a very very little like blue in the scene. So as you can see, the blue pixel is not going to be very lit. And because, because he's not, uh, because we're going to make him rectangle because the image is rectangle, we can just change this to a more rectangular shape. So if we want it to be like, um, I don't know, 128 by 72, because the image we have is 128 by 720. That, and you can plug this into here and then you can multiply this into your emissive color. And then have a value here called missive like that. Plug that into here. And we have it at zero. And we'll probably set it at one. And then you'll be able to oops, you'll be able to manually change it to what you want. And that's pretty much everything. So there's a few other things you could do. 
You can use a Fresnel, so when you turn to the side, the screen gets darker. You know, like how your monitors work. But again, Fresnel's not very hard. You could probably find a, a separate video on how to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. So if we click OK on that. Actually, one more thing I will add in a second. Okay, instant that, that, plug that into that, make that more rectangular. So that dog is very, very brightly lit. So we're going to come into here. This is why we set up the instances so we don't have to go back and change these. Change that to make it a bit less admissive. And the range is really, really close. So we're going to have to come to about there. Mm, a little bit more. Yeah, like that. And then we probably want to contrast that just a tad. Oh, don't think I've put a, there you go, parameter on our contrast. So while I'm in here, one more thing I want to show you guys is if you do want a slight color effect on your screen. So nope. Always got to be on the bottom because the overlay is, we want the color to be overlaid on top. Default this at 0.5 values. Okay, there you go. Convert that to a parameter, plug that into here and here. And that's fine. Call that cut, um, overlay, o, actually, O color, or overlay color. Apply that. And when we go into our instance, if we want it to have a, so I on the cat have a slight blue effect. So if we want it to be like the matrix, we can have a slight green effect. As you can see. All the green. So if I go like that, you'll get all green, which is really cool. Because if you go to like max, you'll just get green on, right? But we have that to like a 0.5 value, which is exactly what you're supposed to have. <clears throat> it will just show the green values in the picture, which is really cool to me. I think that's awesome. And again, if you, um, if the, because the image, another thing I got to add, because the image is um, 10 times the resolution of how many pixels I have, you will see. There's like fades in this. If you have it to the exact resolution, it won't do that. So if he was, what, 128 by 72, it'll work. Um, but yeah, still it's pretty cool. But yeah, if we wanted him to only be slightly tinted or whatever, we can put these to like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and then 0.5. Oh, 0.5. Should have a very slight green effect. But obviously, that's probably a bit over the top. Probably only one like that, and then maybe turn these values down ever so slightly. And you can just manually grab it here. But yeah, and you can sort it out as much as you want there. But that's pretty much how you achieve the pixelation effect. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for being so long, showing you guys how to achieve a video like this. If you do want a scan line, that's literally just a panner with... That's literally just a panner that multiplies over the top at the end. Very easy. Yeah. Sorry for taking so long making this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.